Hello and welcome to the Cigar Area. I'm Mike Simmons. Uh, tonight, another new cigar for me. Maybe not for you. From Caldwell Cigar Company. Long live the king. I'm truly fascinated by the bands on these Caldwell cigars. This one says... Long live the king. Go figure. Never tried this. Okay. I have not read any reviews on this. I know absolutely nothing about it except from what I brought up here on the Caldwell Cigar website, which I'm going to read off of here for you as far as this ingredient list goes because I found that these uh, Caldwell cigars are a bit complicated in the blends and usually I can remember most things but these are a little uh, bit of a mouthful and uh, by the way this is the uh, 6x52 petite double wide short Churchill okay Wrapper, Dominican Corojo Vintage 2008. It is quite beautiful. Uh, not all the same color. There is some color variation. I don't know if you can pick that up here. Uh, it is a beautiful dark rich brown though. The binder, also a Corojo from the Dominican 2009 Vintage. Now the fillers, three fillers. First is Corojo Le Hero from the Dominican, vintage 2006, 50%. A Habano Le Hero from Nicaragua, vintage 2007, 40%. And the last 10% is a Viso Pelo de Oro from Peru, vintage 2008. Now you see why I probably would have had a hard time remembering all that to just spit out by memory. But that's what's in it. So it's mostly Dominican Corojo, which is fine with me. 50% uh, Corojo La Hero. On the filler, also fine with me. So I'm expecting, uh, I'm expecting this to be a little spicy and uh, rich. And I haven't been disappointed by any Caldwell cigars yet. Uh, I also have long, or the King is dead. This is Long Live the King. I also have The King is Dead. And I'm kicking it back and forth. Should I do that first? The King is Dead. Long Live the King. But, honestly, I wanted to try this one first. I've been wanting to try this for a long time. Finally got one. Uh, I forgot to look at the... I've, how much it cost? I don't remember. Probably about 10 bucks. I'm thinking 10, 11 bucks. Uh, don't remember offhand, but at any rate, there it is. Has a uh, a pigtail cap. It does have a finished foot. Hmm. Smells like light, cocoa-y scent to the pre-light right. so light very light cocoa 
believe we're on the pre-light draw, but I'm not getting too much else out of it. So let's see what happens. I was in this conundrum again today about what to uh, smoke because I got a lot of great cigars over the weekend. I got some from Epic. Uh, I got some Tabacalera Cinco Sestrella from the Dominican. Uh, I have all these cigars and it's like I couldn't make up my mind so I figured I'd just do this one. Okay, first puff, earthy, salty, maybe a little leathery, a little spicy on the finish, just a little of each. Here comes that richness. Okay, I'm going to stick to my guns for the first puff. Earthy, little leather, spicy on the finish. A little more spicy that time through the retro hail. That's usual, usual operating procedure. It's kind of a bright, flavorful red pepper spice. Very, very rich and hearty. Not overly strong. To medium, maybe leaning toward the full range and strength. Definitely full body. Full flavor, very, very robust flavor. Looks like I got a fairly straight burn going there. Mm. Got a little sweetness on that puff. A little sweet, uh, it's like a graham cracker or cinnamon sweetness. Yep, a little bit of graham cracker sweetness in there. Nice, nice array of <clears throat> flavors for the beginning of the cigar. Uh, seeing how all these vintages are listed on there in specifics, uh, I would imagine these are pretty, pretty prime tobaccos. Uh, probably very carefully selected uh, to blend here. Wow, that spice, I really feel it in my nose. It's, it's not burny, but it's like spice I normally feel on my tongue, I feel it in my nostrils. But it's different. All right, I'm gonna stick with that for the initial start of the cigar flavor profile. Earthy, leathery, graham cracker sweetness. And a red pepper spice on the finish. 
none too strong yet hardy some potency there some potential for uh, some potential for some strength Let's see what happens so I'm gonna coast on into the first third here and I'll be back in a bit to talk about it okay welcome back to the cigar area with the Caldwell Cigars Long live the king. First third continued on pretty much the same as the uh, initial lighting of the cigar. Uh, earthy, a little leathery, a little sweetness, a graham cracker, almost a cinnamon kind of a flavor there, and a nice uh, red peppery spice on the finish. The only thing that really changed as I got further in here is that peppery spice on the finish is lasting a lot longer. Uh, initially it was kind of just short and then cut off clean. Now it really is, is hanging on and it's, it's not uh, strong per se, it's just it's very flavorful. It's a very, very rich, flavorful cigar. It's not overpowering. It's not super strong. Uh, it's burning really well. I just dropped an inch, good solid inch of ash. Didn't look like it was going to fall off. It looked very you know, solid, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And uh, just, boop, just dropped right off on the floor. But... Uh, quite pleasant uh, it's definitely a medium it's medium strength but it's very full bodied it's very the flavors are pungent and noticeable and it's uh, it's very rich very rich flavor quite quite enjoyable has a bit of a firm draw but it does produce a lot of smoke uh, yeah that pepper finish just goes on and on very nice but it's not it's not too peppery it's not a strong peppery you know some some people when you say peppery they say oh I don't like peppery it's kind of burny it's not like that it's very uh, uh, flavorful it's the only thing I can come up with it has a, it has a flavor to it it's not black pepper, not white pepper. It's like a red pepper. Uh, but it's not hot like a chili pepper. It's just very uh, robust. So, at any rate, I'm going to continue on into the second third. And uh, see if we get any changes. Kind of hoping... I get some changes. Really kind of hoping for a flavor bomb type thing. Something more than, than I'm getting now. Although this is quite pleasant, it's quite nice. Uh, has to be a reason for that 10% uh, Peruvian and that 40% uh, Habano in there. Right now I'm getting mostly Corojo flavors out of this, so hopefully uh, something else is going to creep in there. But we'll see. Be back. Okay, welcome back <clears throat> with the Caldwell Cigars, Long Live the King. Talk about a big change. I was asking for a change, boy did I get one. The flavor profile completely 
flipped in the second portion. Uh, that earthy, leathery flavor. Going. Still a little bit of spice. The spice is very mellow on the finish. But the dominant flavor now is a, it's a citrus kind of a flavor. Uh, it's very light. Uh, it's still pungent. Still bright, <clears throat> flavorful, rich. But it's a it's a bright, citrusy flavor. Uh, reminds me of the Espinosa uh, La Harang, which is a definite orange flavor. Uh, I'm really stunned by this. I mean, it just flipped. Took a puff. It's leathery and earthy. Took another puff. It's like, wow. The flavor was much lighter. Took another puff. Bam. Light, flavorful, pungent citrus flavor. Not unpleasant. It's very, very pleasant. It's very tasty. But it's completely different from the first third. Uh, got about an inch of ash here. Got a, a little bit of a dive here in the uh, in the burn. A little wanted to show that to you. A little disappointed in that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to touch that up because it's kind of going a little haywire. Uh, I was not expecting this whatsoever. This type of a flavor out of out of this. I don't know if that's that uh, Peruvian tobacco in there or possibly that uh, Habano Lajero. But the Corojo flavors are definitely pretty much gone except for the spice. Uh, it's a little bit better. Even that out a bit. As usual. Right in my lap. Yeah, just an amazing change. Uh, at this point, I think I'll take the band off. Because I'm going to be getting to it during the next break here. Oh, I want to preserve this. Ah, thank you. Beautiful artwork. Nice, uh, like a burgundy ring around the outside with the pencil sketch highlighted with the gold. Very nice. Very nice. I'm glad that didn't tear into pieces. Uh, okay, I'm going to continue on here. into the final third see if we get any more changes but once again major jump from rich earthy leathery spicy to you know it's a little nutty too right now nutty on the retro hail tad bit of spice left on the finish but a major jump to a citrusy base flavor. Very rich. Very hearty. Very pleasant. Still medium. Full flavored, medium strength. You never know. I'll be back shortly. <coughs> okay. 
back in the final third of Long Live the King. Another little bit of a curvy burn here, but <clears throat> not going to worry about it. The flavor has uh, changed once again <clears throat> in the final third. Still have that dominant citrus flavor. In fact, it's really increased in potency in the final third. The spice on the finish disappeared, and there's an additional cedar flavor, kind of creamy, in addition to the citrus. And the finish kind of ends up on that cedar note. Very nice. Really different. I didn't really know what to expect from this because I didn't read anything about it. I had just seen pictures of them and uh, I know I really like the Eastern Standard and I like the other Caldwell smokes I've had. So uh, for a first try, pretty impressive really good flavor profile started with earthy rich leathery spicy uh, signatures of the Corojo leaf and the uh, the heroes and then the second third switched over to the nice bright, bright citrus flavor which I'm imagining was uh, that uh, Peruvian tobacco in there played a part in that, although it was really dominant. Uh, and for only being 10% of the, of the filler, if that's what bringing these flavors out, it's a pretty, pretty powerful leaf. And then we, uh, the cedar, or the uh, spice hung on in a second. M was much milder. Now in the final third we have the dominant orangey citrus flavor and a nice creamy cedar on the finish. Very nice, complex, very balanced. Uh, even though the flavors are potent and pungent, didn't get stronger. Still a medium body medium to full all the way through burn <clears throat> was good except I had that one bad spot there in the middle that really required a touch up so summing it all up I'm going to give this Caldwell long live the king 9 out of 10 and only a 9 out of 10 because of the uh the burn because it was an expensive cigar uh, 10 bucks would I buy another one for 10 bucks probably I probably will down the line um, when I'm in the mood for something like this but it was very tasty very impressive good cigar so You want to spend ten bucks? Something a little bit different, with a with a nice array of flavors. Very nice array of flavors. It's uh, it's almost like smoking three different cigars, which that kind of complexity goes a long way with me. And I hate to take off point for the burn, but if I wouldn't have corrected it, it probably would have gone south pretty fast so other than that great smoke so this is Mike Simmons in the cigar area I'm thanking you for tuning in check out my other videos on YouTube and on the uh, cigararea.com enter my new contest for May with a prize I have not yet decided on <laughs> I have to go through my stuff and see what I have 
I want to do something a little different than I've done the last couple months. I don't want to do the, do the same type of thing you know, too close together. So I will uh, be putting that on the website uh, tomorrow, probably tomorrow, once I get a chance to see what I have in my goodie bag for prizes. And uh, anyway, I'm going to smoke this down a little bit further because it's still good. And till next time, happy smoking. Darker fish cleave creamy seas, and all I'm left with is a breeze. Doesn't even reach my knees, there's too much in this 